The Pope has left the building, specifically the Vatican. Thursday marked Pope Benedict the 16th's last day as Pope. He left by helicopter. The Pope shocked the world when he announced his retirement February 11th. He said he simply felt his age and was no longer up to the job. His last days have been emotional as he says goodbye to the Cardinals, many of whom he appointed. He'd been Pope for eight years and the New York Times notes the Pope is promising and asking for continued dedication to the church. In one of his concluding acts, he addressed the cardinals who will elect his successor, urging them to be like an orchestra that harmonizes for the good of the Roman Catholic Church and pledging that he would behave with unconditional reverence and obedience toward his successor. The search for that successor is expected to start by mid-March, though it's already almost drowning in scandal. The successor will be greeted with the new results of an investigation into how hundreds of confidential Vatican documents were leaked to the press and published in a tell-all last May. He'll have to handle things from there. The new pope will also be faced with more sex scandals. Cardinal Keith O'Brien has resigned amid allegations he was inappropriate with other priests. He denies the claims. But for now, it's all about the 16th. As he flew from the Vatican, onlookers in St. Peter's Square cheered. His exit was huge on social media, too. His name was trending on Twitter, and he was the first pope ever to send out one last tweet. Thank you for your love and support. May you always experience the joy that comes from putting Christ at the center of your lives. And yes, the Lord of the Rings jokes are hard to avoid with this next bit, but in a special tradition, the Pope's gold fisherman's ring will be destroyed with a silver hammer to ensure no one forges a document in his name. The Pope's retirement formally takes effect at 8 p.m. local time, so what's next for him? CNN reports it will be a studious life of reading, writing, and praying. He's going to spend the next two or three months in Castel Gondolfo. Uh, we, in fact, I toured uh, the residence he'll be uh, living in, very compared certainly to the Vatican. Benedict is the first pope in 600 years to resign. There are more than 100 cardinals eligible to be the new pope. For Newsy, I'm Lauren Zima. Multiple sources, a broader view.